Well, hello everyone. As you may have seen on Instagram, I recently moved out of my first apartment in Beijing. For the past solid year and two months, I've been trying to make an apartment tour video for you guys, but for the first half of that time, I kept trying to update the apartment and make it better and better. And then for the second half, I kept spending less and less time at the apartment as I slowly moved my clothes, my toiletries, and eventually my cat into David's apartment. That put us at this point where if I don't sit on the roof of my new apartment and show you the fragment pieces of footage that I've managed to film during the chaos of moving out and leaving my job last week, uh, none of us will ever see it again. So <laughs> let's just bear with it. When you first enter the apartment, you will be greeted by an army of shoes, 80% of which I never wear. Really the only three pairs of shoes that I ever wear are these guys these guys and these guys all white sneakers with varying degrees of deterioration <laughs> above the shoe rack is a huge storage space where i put my spare toiletries and household cleaning supplies i sometimes wonder if this is where my landlord used to store his ancestors ashes but for a small apartment this is a very generous amount of storage space the lack of which is a problem that i will have to figure out with this new apartment so I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to be on this rooftop right now. It's not a real terrace. It's really just a roof that David has laid wooden planks on. I've been specifically instructed to not consume alcohol on here. So we're gonna keep this between us, okay? All right, where are we? Oh, right across to the shoe rack is um, the bathroom. I'm really proud of this bathroom because when I first moved in, there was zero storage space. And I managed to find a storage mirror on Taobao that fits perfectly with the space. Here, I wanted to interject and tell you a storage mirror joke. I don't think most people will appreciate it as uh, my sense of humor is kind of alternative, but here we go. So when I bought this storage mirror on Taobao, I also bought the cheapest possible impact drill so that I could install it myself because I was too cheap to hire a person to do it for me. During the instruction process, first the drill head broke in half. Right now, there's still half of the drill head into the wall in that bathroom then the second thing that happened was that there was a restaurant on the first floor of the apartment and the uh, restaurant manager came knocking on my doors begging me to like stop drilling because their customers were complaining about shaking walls and like dust coming from the ceiling so the moral of the story is uh, one of the reasons I'm into David is because he has a really high quality impact drill this one and we're just going to move on from here the living room area it's kind of my least favorite part of the apartment because there's no natural light in here and I just never figured out the correct lighting for it. I love this super vibesy vintage fridge that turned out to be way too small for my ever-growing cooking needs but I took it with me anyways to my new apartment because I want to use it exclusively for like ice cubes and drinks. As you can see I may perhaps have a slight uh, magnum problem. Oh and this disco ball. That's the first piece of decor that I had decided on for this apartment way before I even moved in which turned out to be completely useless because no one ever came over to party with me but you know it shows that I at least aspire to have fun. This couch, I've sat on it for approximately five times. The rest of the times it was due to either sleeping on it or using it as a scratch pool. A very high-end one for that purpose. I don't really have a kitchen tour for you guys here. Very sorry because by the time I was filming, the kitchen was already packed away, but I've made an entire kitchen makeover and tour video. I'll link it over here or over here. Now, on to my favorite part of this apartment, the bedroom. The first thing I did with this room was installing these beige curtains to kind of soften the edges of the room. And I also had this big light and sound blocking curtain because since I moved in, there has been constant constructions right outside of my window. And of course, by the time I moved out, these constructions have just been wrapped up. <laughs> this used to be my balcony garden. I spent about 200 US dollars to build it, put in three months of brutal physical labor, and as a result, harvested two cucumbers before the garden eventually perished around September. Urban agriculture, guys. Very lucrative business. High return on investment. Bed is pretty self-explanatory. It's a particularly squeaky one because when I first moved in, I got it secondhand from Dashing District and hold it all the way to High Dan. In the process, it had to be taken apart and I'm pretty sure some parts were missing, but I never bothered to figure out what the missing parts were because back in January, 2021, I was convinced that I'd never do anything in this bed other than sleeping. Um, 
this is, we're not taking this in a new apartment. I really like my bedside table. It's a very Instagrammable, like mid-century modern design. I have a pocket nugget cassette tape player, a Bluetooth speaker, a super vibesy mushroom lamp that I really like. This used to be my favorite bag, but it was broken on the move from Chicago. So now I use it as a self-care kit. It has my pillow mist in it and eye masks. This is a collection of cassette tapes from the 90s that my dad sent to me once he heard that I have a cassette tape player. He was a bit of a collector back then. Oh, and this one is Dudu's automatic feeder. It's pretty handy. You can press a button on your phone to control when and how much to feed your pet. And this has been keeping my child alive whenever I have to be out of town. Over on the opposite side of the bed is a closing rack that I have had for almost two years. Over the years, it's become more and more overloaded. Definitely getting my money's worth out of this third quite object. Right above the clothing rack is a wall shelf that I've installed for books that I have barely touched over the past year. Something that I'm working on this year. The shelves are a little bit tilted. Um, I call that a statement piece and then right there is an ivy plant that has died due to pure neglect I had this jewelry hanger shipped from Chicago to add some precious chill to this room that I personally lack It's from Urban Outfitters. This is my desk slash work area I've kept it looking pretty much the same as it did in Shenyang It took me quite a while to figure out this layout though previously this white shelf was on the other side of the table against the wall and then in the middle of the year I realized that it works better functionally and aesthetically over on the right side of the table to create a little bit of a separation between the balcony area and the bedroom area and one thing i learned here is when you move into a new space it always takes a little bit of time to figure out what's the best way to utilize it so don't rush yourself to like make over the apartment right after you move in give yourself some time fill it out and figure out what's the best way to integrate your routine into the space i promise you it'll all come together over time next to the desk is a set of wall shelves to keep my dry ingredients for the kitchen even though it's on the opposite side of the room than a kitchen is i got the inspiration for this from an ex-co-worker whenever we had video calls he'd always have a very similar but much nicer looking shelf in his background and i just got this 30 dollar version installed myself this setup looks really pretty but one issue with having your ingredients so far away from the kitchen is that over the past year i pretty much never used anything on here that's definitely something to consider when you do your own makeovers on the other side of my bed is this area where I do makeup, do my outfit check before getting out of the door. I've been trying to do up this place for a while but it has never happened and now it never will. So the reason why I wasn't able to give you guys this apartment tour in my old apartment was because I grossly underestimated the amount of time and effort it takes to move out of an apartment and leave my job at the same time. You guys might know from my last video I recently quit my job and last Friday was my last day. So last week it was a really really emotional week processing the resignation saying my goodbyes and the moving was a whole process itself so I just decided to allow myself some time and emotional space to like deal with all of these things but not to worry I've documented how I quit my job and moved to a new apartment in separate videos and uh, I will share all of those with you guys later on for now I hope you guys are taking care of I'll see you in the next one bye uh, uh, okay all right